Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about how to combine async methods. If someone wants to know what are async methods and how to make them, it is in my previous video, they can go over there and check it out. The link to that video is in my uh, description of this video. So going ahead, we have a controller named completable future controller. Yeah, so completable future con future controller contains an API that is books API, which is a get mapping. Okay, so here uh, you can see there is a completable future service. So completable future service controller are just my project name. Okay, for in, for now. Yeah, so here I have a get books method. This getBooks method is my async method. As you can see, it is annotated with async uh, annotation. So what it does is it uh, prints the time on which it is in it was uh, initiated. Then it waits for uh, some time, like five seconds, and it again prints the time on which uh, it was completed and returned. Okay. So this method basically uh, right now is for logging purpose only just to see the uh, just to give us the effect of what async is doing okay now here uh, let's start the server yeah so I started it and uh, this is uh, started okay so server is started our server is started and uh, let's call the API yeah so you can see the get book service is uh, initiated the before thread line the before thread goes to sleep line is executed at uh, 6 33 50 and the get a book service after thread uh, sleep is executed uh, 6 33 55 now I want you to notice this the uh, API call over here in async methods didn't waited for these async uh, methods to get completed right so uh, when we want our uh, controller to wait for the async methods to complete so for that uh, what we will require is uh, as uh, our get books control is returning string instead of that we will be returning a completable future object so before we dive into that we want to see what is completable ob uh, future completable future is a class of java uh, util concurrent package which gives us the state of all the thri uh, child threads. So, uh, whenever our async method in, uh, creates a child thread, a com we can attach a complete uh, completable future class to it, and uh, with those completable future uh, th uh, class, we can see if the thread was completed or not. Uh, yeah. So, as I'm returning a string uh from my service method instead of returning string i will be returning completable future object of type string here in the place of string you can return any of the object uh, that you want to return okay so here i'm going to create a completable uh, future object this is my completable future okay so i am marking it as complete with whichever uh, object that you want to return you can put it uh, you can return it from your let's suppose i'm returning a book string right so i am i can put my object over here and i will return the completable future object so uh, this completable future object now 
what will happen is uh, the async method whenever an async method creates a child thread of this uh, method as the completable future classes attached to that child thread so this uh, returned completable future object will give the status of that thread whether it is completed if completed if was completed uh, successfully or it had an exception in it everything will be described in that completable future object so let's see so now i'm going to create a few uh, objects in which i'm going to receive all the uh, completable future objects of my multiple uh, threads which were instantiated yeah right okay so this is my second object third and fourth okay so I have received the completable future for all the four methods now what I will do I will combine them okay yeah right future. completable future combined is equals to completable future dot all of. so what all of does it combines all the completable future and uh, let's see this then completable future 2 comma completable future 3 and completable future 4 so now I have one single completable future in it and if I want to uh, if I want my controller to wait uh, till all the threads are completed I'm going to write it as uh, completable future combine dot join so what it will do uh, join actually combines every all the uh, child threads and for that to combine it waits for all the uh, thread to get completed okay so uh, for that uh, all my completable futures until unless they are completed it will wait for it and hence uh, my uh, met controller method will get completed only after all my child threads are completed let's see how it works okay so let's start our server yes it is starting and yeah let's go over here in postman so this is started so my the service call was uh, initiated at 6 41 31 and my uh, get books call ended at 6 41 36 so i want you to notice this uh, my service call the api call was started on 6 31 uh, 41 31 and it ended at 6 41 36 so that means uh, my api call waited for all the threads to get uh, completed and uh, the response was served after that so this was it for today uh, let me know if there are any comments over it and if you want any other uh, material to be uh, made on video so till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.